Well, hello, hello everyone again. This is the inspector back with you for another shave. And today we have a lot of new products, a lot of information. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, uh, we're going to be using as a uh, a cream today, Axe Signature, which is a nice cologne type scent. Uh, that's the way I would explain it. Um, I got these in a three pack from overseas. It was like 11 bucks. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, so this is Axe, Axe Denim Signature. Okay, so we'll go with that. Um, I have that in my Captain's, not Captain's Choice Lather Bowl. My HCNC Stainless Steel Bowl. Okay. I made that mistake again, Kim. Um, so I had that in there. We'll lather that up. Uh, along with the new brush in the den, we have a um, uh, Vikings Revolution uh, Pure Badger brush. So we'll give that a spin. And... Uh, it has some funk to it, so we're going to have to work out the uh, the funk on it and all that stuff, so no big deal. And for our razor, we're going to go with the uh, new razor, Yaki Final Cut. An adjustable razor cost about 20, 28 bucks, I want to say, uh, around there. Yeah, something like that. I have it on six. Um, which is the highest setting. If you can see, the blade gap is huge in this. Okay, you get, get a good view of that. Um, the numbers are a little bit hard to read because they're not painted in, but uh, it is on setting six, believe me on that. And... So we're going to use a pre-shave today. We're going to go back to using the cube. And uh, what I've switched up, someone on the forums mentioned about not just putting the cube on your face, but working it in, really working it into your beard. So we're going to do that and see how it goes. So we'll wet the face. Okay. And we'll get the cube out. I used to, it's, I used about half of it, I'd say, maybe not quite half. But anyhow, we'll work it in here. really well give it a little bit of water here Okay, now what we'll do is we'll work it in with our fingers here. And what it did, it really helped my first pass. It really got closer, I think, a little bit closer on my first pass. And it added some good ventilation to the shave.
So we have that worked in really well. Okay. So let's work on our lather here. Get this all lathered up. And I expect to lose a couple of hairs, guys, because I'm using this as the first use. I didn't, uh, I just rinsed it off, and so I didn't bother lathering it up with the soap beforehand uh, as a pre-shave pre type of preparation, so... Okay. So we'll apply the lather here. Yep. Okay. We'll heat up the blade and finally get shaving here. And it's on six, I'm getting some good blade feel. Some good blade feel. I have about, uh, oh, I'd say two days growth on here. Yeah, as you can see by that blade gap. Pretty aggressive shave.
Okay. First pass done. I got pretty darn close, I have to say. Uh, pretty darn close, guys. Okay. I think I'll turn this down here. I'll turn it down to... Uh, I'll turn it down to three. I think it will still be quite aggressive. On, on three with the blade feel, but not quite as much. Got a little bit of a weeper here going. Yeah, so I can still feel the blade, of course, but it's not nearly as pronounced as on six. This appears to be a good mid-range here. This razor has some decent heft to it, by the way. So if you like... Heavy razors. This may be one for you to try out.
Okay, we'll go lightly on the uh, mustache area here, as well as the goatee area. Once again, getting some good blade feel on this, even on three. Okay. That was a very efficient shave, guys, I gotta say. First on six and then on three. So we'll give it a rinse, we'll leave it at that. Give it a little touch up here. Okay, we'll get out the Allen block. Just a little bit of stinging here, not much. Okay, then we'll dry this off and put it away. and let it air dry. Okay, so let's go over what we did. We did uh, uh, Axe Signature Denim. Okay, very nice. We went with our HCNC Stainless steel bowl with our Viking Revolution Pure Badger brush. I can see a hair coming out. There we go. Two hairs coming out. One thing about natural hair brushes is first use, so. And then we went with our, our Yaki or Yaki, I should say, uh, adjustable razor, and good half done. This costs about 28 bucks, setting one through six. Pretty aggressive shave, guys. If you like aggressiveness, this is where you would, uh, you would do well. You might want to try this out. Huge blade gap. Huge blade gap. Uh, blade exposure. Uh, not so much, but the blade gap more than makes up for it. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we have today. And, um, 
So that's the shave. I'll prep out, uh, do my post shave with some uh, some cucumber, witch, uh, witch hazel through uh, Thayer's. Get that on my face and then we'll hop in the shower and put some cologne on. I'll put something on. I don't know what yet, but anyhow, let me rinse first. Let me rinse the alum off of here. Let me do that. Oh. Let me tell you guys, if you're looking to mow down some serious growth in two passes, uh, this did the trick. So All right, so here's the witch hazel, the cucumber witch hazel, and we're getting really, really down to it now. Down to the bottom. Okay. Very nice. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for joining me in my den, the Inspector's Den. And we'll be seeing you again real soon. Enjoy your Sunday. Take care, guys.